Unexpectedly, the event drew an appreciable crowd consisting of the organizers and those sympathetic to Governor Fubara in the political crisis rocking River State. Chijoku Inhuo, the youth leader, speaks against the backdrop of the recent declaration of the Chief of Staff to the River State Government, Edison Ehe, and others wanted by the police. We are, we are moving from word to word, community to community, to tell our people, thank you for supporting the governor. But I want to uh, tell our people, I want to tell our people that they should not be scared, that uh, they should go about their normal business and maintain peace in their communities, that by the grace of God, this fight is over. And that we're going to thank, conjunct thanking God uh, in what he has done for us. People are saying, Fobara is going to the Fobara, but all those things have ended. What we want is relative peace in our states. The organizer and leader, of same movement in the council condemned the ongoing power tussle in River State. According to him, there can only be one governor at a time. When the people have said they want you, when the people have said they will stand by their governor, you can't intimidate the governor. We are River's people. We have decided also that Sim Fubara is the governor of River State that will stand by him. Come rain, come shine. So whoever want to distract him, will not find it easy because the will of the people is the will of God. That is it. A special assistant to Governor Fubara enjoined all, especially the youths, to be progressive in their thinking and remain steadfast. This youth leader agrees with him. They have job creation, they have empowerment, like I've said here before. It has, it has an economic empowerment. You understand? They want to build capacity for our people, train our people in oil and gas and other areas. So he has a lot of progress for us. So we want to support him and let him complete it. My message to, to the people of our kingdom, let's come together and support Sir Simila Efobara. Before the victory rally, the organizers had paid a courtesy call on the traditional ruler of Bogoro community, Eze Felix Nna Amadi, who advised the youths against using their God-given wisdom and strength negatively. He also called on government and those in position of authority to always seek the counsel of a traditional institution, since it is the closest to the grassroots where many reside. The movement of this year today is for everybody to come together, sensitizing the people to come together to make sure that we do not degenerate into personal acrimony because it's politics. The people we are with today, tomorrow you may not be with them. The next day you may be with them and all that because everybody is trying to protect his interests. But what is more important is the interest of River State. The common message at the Obogoro Victory Rally was for all to embrace peace in order to ensure a progressive and developed river state that many anticipated. From Port Harcourt, the river state capital, Andy Omano Omano, Arise News.